New York Mayor Bill de Blasio went after you pretty hard this week for saying that right now you don't want to accept any Syrian refugees, not even orphans under five. Uh, take a listen to the mayor. Governor Christie specifically said he did not think it was appropriate for small children to be brought in. Is this what he wants to see happen to people? Is this what he wants to see happen to children? I don't know if you could, if you've seen the clip, but it's Mary de Blasio holding up a clip of, of that iconic uh, dead Syrian little boy uh, on the beach. Um, does a five-year-old orphan need to be vetted? Senator Rubio said yesterday in Iowa, quote, if it's a five-year-old child, that's pretty easy to vet. As, uh, as murders rise 11% in New York City, as the commissioner uh, of, of police in uh, New York says that homelessness and vagrants on the streets continue to rise to, to new high levels, um, believe me, uh, Mayor de Blasio should worry more about trying to get something done in the city of New York to make it safer than he should worry about criticizing anybody else. And quite frankly, um, given the way he's talking um, and not worried about the security and the safety of the people of New York, maybe he should be mayor of Damascus. Well, I, I understand you're taking issue with how he's running New York City, but let's turn to his argument, which is well, we've seen these very compelling images of people who are obviously not ISIS terrorists, little children and their moms. Uh, why... Are they dangerous to the United States to take them in? Why should the United States not be helping these desperate people? First of all, Jake, the FBI director himself said they can't vet these folks. Uh, the FBI director sat before Congress last week and said they cannot vet these folks. Secondly, uh, we had a woman who was uh, wearing a, an explosive uh, vest in, uh, in Paris uh, who blew herself up when we were approached by police this week. Um, I don't understand the distinction, quite frankly. And, and yeah. what we need to do is to protect the homeland first, Jake. I think the um, police there's actually... there's no way for us to vet these folks. The police actually have said uh, that as they've studied that crime scene further, she was not wearing a suicide vest, although her role with the terrorists uh, is still unknown. But let me ask you, about 75 Syrian refugees have already settled in your home state of New Jersey since the start of the year, according to new data from the State Department. Should they be ousted from your state? Jake, what should have happened is we should have been informed about it, and we were not. Um, and this is part of the problem with this administration. Um, they're an imperial administration that just decides they're going to place people in individual states and not even inform the state government of the fact that they've done it. Um, that information is just recently released, um, and they're placing them through non-governmental organizations and not giving any information to the state governments until just recently when we demanded them and there was public pressure on them to do that. And so the fact is that we should have these folks vetted and vetted well. The FBI director says they cannot be vetted. Jake, this is not me saying it. This is the president's own FBI director saying it. And so the president needs to get his own story straight in Washington, D.C. Then he can get folks, political appointees like John Kerry and Jay Johnson, to write whatever letters they want to the governors. The FBI director testified before Congress.